It just beeped three times. And Stewart Tower Diamond. And one. the red light is flashing. Okay, very good. Okay, eyeballs outside. Everything is out on top of the bottom. In good shape. For two seven, one top here. Slowly. One six, Charlie Golf. Take it down, only one six, cross the nine two seven, then you can proceed southeast bound. Down one six, cross nine two seven, then eastbound. One six, Charlie Golf. Of course, we do have an aircraft uh, depart, helicopter departing off independently. Twenty four inches. Yep. Shouldn't be a factor. And so we can tilt forward this way just to get out of here. So I, okay. once, once and I now feel. Now we can go twenty four inches. We go over top. Yeah. Once I feel the vertical climb decrease. Yeah. That's when I. Push forward so that I translate some of that vertical motion into forward flight. Yeah. I used to just go up until I was out of ground effect hover and stop climbing and then move forward, but it was not nearly as efficient. Yeah, you can see it with a slightly density altitude uh, that it makes it uh, a little bit more of a lift, right? All uh, right, let's trim this out. And we'll stay uh, out of the way of the runway. We we'll go to 1,200. We can pick up a little bit more power. One, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, Diamond turning a right base from we two seven. That's it, the nine two seven look for the diamond. What do you think you're going Okay. All right, we're going to go to 1,200 to the utility station. And then we can pick up. You want to stay close? No, sorry, just want to confirm right traffic for one top of Sierra. One top of Sierra, you just told me you're doing a touch and go. I didn't know you were staying. Yes, you can make right clad traffic if you're going to stay close. Yeah, sorry about that. We'll stay in the pattern for a little bit. One pop say make right traffic on the go. Uh, we go. One, uh, right traffic will be fine. Make a correction. We have a clear the runway over here. We'll pick up two seven zero approximately. Yeah, and then so then we'll be able to intercept. Yeah, just center the need. Keep it centered. We can level up. You want me to go to 3,000 uh, feet then? With uh, since that's yeah, then that would, we're then we're out of people's way. Yeah, we have room to do the unusual attitudes. Okay, and uh, we'll keep continue to climb. Try to maintain heading at 270, and we'll climb at four or five hundred feet up to 3,000. All right, lights right on top. Uh, looking green, green, green on all five. We are uh, 1,500, climbing at 500, tracking 274, make a little left. We are trimmed. So I've also found that this one is, I watched that one more. This one is super sensitive, so every little bump and bobble, it shows up on there. Okay. But for steady, stable flight, I find that this one is much more helpful. Okay. And then the other ones to get used to here are airspeed and airspeed, and then altitude here and yeah. altitude here. Do you want me to go under the hood yet, or you want to yeah. wait, or? It, that's up to you. See how you. you yeah, know, let's let's do it. Okay. So okay. if you want to. Yeah, your controls. My controls. If you okay, want to flap control. those down. Okay, my controls. Your controls. My controls. And I'm uh, flying 80 level, climbing at 2300. I'm going to give it a little bit more power so we can go a little faster. I'm sure you're going to make right traffic and report the base. And still, my left leg over here is so close to that uh, oh, to the cyclic bar, yeah. One, three, Mike, whiskey, finish, change, proof. Frequency approved, uh, three Mike Whiskey. One, two, six, Charlie Golf, see if change approved. One, two, six, Charlie Golf, Kiddick. All right, so you want me to switch this over to yeah, orange? Yeah, I'll yep. switch this over to orange. So yeah, so just play with, play with your scan in terms of thinking about like what your goals are. So yeah, my goal right now is to climb at four, four, four to five hundred feet, bring the speed back down to ninety, and maintaining a heading of around two seven zero. So I bring my uh, cyclic back a little bit. That will slow me down, but it allows me to climb and maintain my heading at the same time. I'm at twenty three inches, so that's good. 
And then when you're climbing to a fixed altitude, like as you get close, like when you're like 500 feet to go, then I usually just count it down, 500 to go, okay. 400 to go. It just helps me maintain that awareness of it. The funny thing is I just directed for a heading and then let my nose drip down and lost the momentum for uh, climbing. Yeah. I it's mean, all connected, right? It is just so funny how it all... Uh, well, and it's, it's instrument scan and interpretation. Yeah. And while you're interpreting this and making a correction for that, you've got to keep the scan going so yeah. you can assimilate more information so that you don't end up um, fixing one problem and creating two more. Yep. Yeah. And like on your GPS, as like a little backup, you can zoom in a little bit more on that so that you can then just check and see where you are and how does that jive with. Yeah, and the zoom in is just that bottom right hand button. Right, right here. There's so much information in uh, there that it's just... So much, too much information there. Wants to fly though. Orange County traffic hours on a four mile forty five for right down wind two two, Orange County. All right, coming two thousand five hundred. Still ninety two six nine. Right. The wings level. So while the flying is happening, then there's the other things that you want to be thinking about. So like your rim temp. Um, so what's the weather uh, at Orange way. County? Yeah. And, and we can either tune that in, or we can just, uh, or we can triple click. We're on their frequency right now, right? Yes. Yep. So just five clicks. Three clicks. Three clicks. Orange County Automated Advisory Wind Com Altimeter three zero 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 Density Altitude one thousand seven hundred Preferred Com Wind Runway zero four Pilot Discretion. Okay. All right, we can make a slight adjustment here three zero. And then we've got uh, radio checks. We know that our radios are set for Orange County. Yeah. Um, we don't have a nav radio for this approach. All right, we had uh, two thousand nine hundred. Yep. So we're slowly starting to uh, pitch forward. Orange County okay. traffic hour is right down wind, 2-2, two, two, full stop. Orange. i got to make it first, huh? And I've drifted off course a little bit. Let me correct that. I'm going to go to 273 so I can uh, re-intercept the, uh, and we had 60 feet. I'm going to put in uh, 1228 because we've got Randall right here, just looking, I don't see any glider activity. 40 feet. Kick traffic, we're way slow plane to the south, inbound Kickson. Okay, so we've got some gliders. Four minutes to go for skydiving over the Brookhaven Airport. Please use caution. Do not overfly the field. Four minutes to go for skydiving over Brookhaven. Uh, we have Randall uh, below us. Randall is below and to the left. We've got gliders to the right. But they're more towards the hills probably, right? No, they're out in the flats. Uh, okay. We're going to maintain this heading. Yeah, what altitude are they flying usually at? Well, we've got one at the same altitude. We've got three lower down. Okay. All right, we're 3,085, 270, so that's good. 
Needles are essentially speaking uh, centered. We're on the Mangetta line on GPS. Good. Now we just need to. Kings traffic one way down to. Pay 22 uh, inches. That was a little. I reduced power, but that was a little uh, more than we needed to. Get that back. All right, I'm going to try to get the needles to center, so I'm going to take a 275, 280 bite until I get that. Uh, we're off by less than uh, one dot, half a dot. So, yeah. so if you watch your airspeed, too, and you see your airspeed climbing, then you know that we're that we're descending. Yep. Yeah. Traffic, no planet, glider, parting 26 Randall. King's okay. traffic, we'll wait up to midfield down, wind 15. Needles are coming back in. We slowly go back to 270. Yeah, so on this one, the, the approach course is uh, 080. Two minutes to go the outbound. The inbound course. Yeah, there's the inbound course. The outbound course is the opposite, of course. 200 minus 20. There's 260. Yep. And we can do an, uh, a teardrop from this point, right? Oh, fly over to VOR, make it 30 degree, 30 yep. second left. Yep. Yeah, because we're basically doing like a course reversal. Yeah. The flag uh, on this uh, on the digital VOR or heading indicator is where. Over traffic, two or seven, Sorry, the what? Three miles to the south side. If I want to look at the flag when I fly over, this is this is set now just on GPS, right? Yes. Okay, so when do I know I reached Yuganot? Uh, so we should be getting a warning here, and it will tell us. Uh, let's see, we got. Uh, I see Yuganot in the so, top of my screen. Right yeah, now. so four point eight. Let me just Brooklyn pick up my nose a little so bit. So right here is your distance. Yeah. Do not over fly the okay. Um, to go over people falling out of the sky for over Brookhaven. Let me pick up that, uh, get back to 3,000. Four point two nautical miles. Okay, so it's more of a DME. Uh, Yep. And so when we at zero, we know that we can. Uh, all right. So that is intercept, and we actually. Yeah. Pick up a little speed. Yeah, I'm definitely more familiar with the setup in Delta Echo. Yeah. Uh, That's a way of learning. But this is also. I mean, the, I've got backup here as far as if I have to give you vectors. Oh, on your iPad, you mean? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Silver, 152 is about three miles west. Uh, you guys still using four or two two? Uh, yeah, we just came in a little bit traffic. Skyhawk is over flying at 3,000 feet and during 45 degrees to the... Uh, Wait, are you going to stay with four or are you going to switch it up? All right, so this one, I'm going to zoom that in a little bit more so you get the... Oh, uh, it actually gives us an, uh, a drawing. Yep. <laughs> so this one actually has a different a different hold than mine does, so we're going to go with the one that's on yours. Yeah, there's a teardrop. To the south, it will overfly the field, and enter a left... Oh, it only comes on the screen here, too. Oh, look at that fenciness. <laughs>
And my 30 degree turn to the left is going to go to uh, 23, no, 240 for 30 seconds. And the needles are nicely centered, 1.3 nautical miles. All right, lights are out on top, lights are out on the... Uh, so there you go, here you, you have the message. Yeah, hold parallel. Hold parallel is what they're calling it, this one. Okay, well, the drawing it looks a little different, but that's okay. So watch your attitude. Rubber traffic south. We'll do a cross and then it even tells you, transition. left to 182 now. I will right, we'll on this screen over here. Right here. Uh, okay. So left turn to left 182. Turn 182. And there's the, we can actually see the VOR. Right? You can. <laughs> well, I can. We're going to jump first away over the Brookhaven Airport. Please use caution. Do not overfly the field. Jump first away over the Brookhaven. Force for traffic, 0.2 miles northwest. Landing work for yeah, let's hey, try not to lose any more altitude. Yeah. How you doing, Scott? I'm pulling her back out a little bit. All right. Silver two. Oh, American traffic. Yep, so you're going to... easy when you pick up your... So when I, when I look down on that, yep. I tend to push down, so I need to yeah, keep an eye on that. So 182, and that should be for 30 seconds. Yep, so this is where you would, um... Got you in sight. We're going straight out. Par this is a parallel now, so we... Yep. And then we'll do a 360, uh, a 180 back. Yep. Okay. And so here, I would just, just keep your scan going here to check your yeah. uh, airspeed attitude. I gotta keep an eye on that. Every time I look down, I uh, dip down. All right, so left, left to 316 in three seconds. Left 316. Yep. And, and so then you can just down. do this as a standard rate turn. So like the GPS there is like one of those just quick glances. Just yeah. to kind of double check your situation. So most of your activity is going to be like right in here. Yeah. Hard traffic, sky left down 119, like in part. And like we can add in things like timers and stuff like that, but it, I just, it always seems a little bit uh, crazy to add everything in all at once. Yeah. Great barrier to traffic, overflying the field. Or it's more getting a, a feeling of what it feels like. Yeah, see that? Look at that. <laughs> That's so nice. 429. All right, let me dip the nose a little bit now. Wider turning base. Zero. That's good. I mean, you're just below 3,000 feet. Yeah. Um, and then at... Anticipate the, uh, about, uh, one and a half miles. so we don't need to turn too quickly. We're going to be overflying midfield one side. So you can look at your rate of turn here, first and up yep. here as well. Head glider in sight. A little right pedal will help, but not much, but just a touch. Romeo is on left downwind for runway. Um, there you go. Thank you. Traffic area is so now you can begin to intercept your, your course, your 080. On a two mile final for 33. Um, anybody in the pattern? Harper traffic, uh, caravans on a high, left down wind runway 19. Harper. Lakewood traffic, 1 1 Juliet Alpha is crossing midfield, joining a left down wind for 6. Lakewood. Silver track is 8 for 2 2, but going around. Silver track. Right to 176 in 8 seconds. Lakewood traffic. Right to 176. Traffic just landed Sullivan County. How do you hear the red and white Cessna on final? How do you hear? Right, right turn. Correct them. Uh, Lakewood traffic. Cessna turning downwind. Runway 6. And it's picking up. We'll be vacating next to. All of the traffic, Skyhawk 5220. So this is having you do a full hold. I might as well do it. Yeah. So oftentimes, like for the check ride, you'll just use the hold.
uh, and, and then to exit out on zero A towards yep. the. So you're using it, and with the way the language is, you're using it in lieu of a procedure turn. Over traffic two four seven, praying for upwind for only two two going around. Over. Good. Nice and stable. Yeah. Altitude is good. Airspeed is good. Course is good. And now it will tell me again in so many seconds to make a right turn. So it will flash. Zero eight zero. It will flash and give you the warning, uh, like right there. Zero zero two in nine seconds. Yep. This is traffic. He's caution. We got jumpers way over good. Four canopies in the air over good from 10,500 feet below. And then this is nice too if you don't want to use the strings. You can look at the ball. Yeah. All right, zero, zero, 002. Lakewood traffic, Skyhawk, five miles to the south, inbound. Two kilos, ten miles south. Good trap. Yes, yeah, so and normally you'd look at the plate, and most of these holds have one minute legs. Yep. Silver traffic 247 is turning three. Three Papa Tango, Southern County, three Papa Tango. How do you hear? Silver, right. five by five. Liquid traffic, And really, you're better off being a little bit high since this is, since 3,000 is the floor. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna jump in here. Traffic. That's the turn final. Runway six. So we should go to the next leg of the flight plan. Yep. Direction. 086 now. There we go. So that would just basically keep you in the hold. Unless you hit unsuspend. Took off. Well, 06, 086 should take us to, uh, to 08 in the Orange County, too, no? Yeah, so it's going to take you down to OSEC, and then from OSEC, that, that's a GPS waypoint. Yeah. And then at OSEC, it's going to have you. Uh, go to zero eight zero. So, like traffic, OSIC is the initial uh, approach uh, fix. Okay. Uh, and what uh, altitude do we need to be at, at OSIC? We're going to make a turn at uh, Southern Lawn Classic. So, OSIC 2900. Okay, so I can lose a little bit of. Uh, yep, you got. Yep, you got three miles. Lower the power a little bit. And the main thing is, you just don't want to bust minimums. Yeah. So OSIC is 2,900. Is 2,900. Uh, Wedgie is 2,000. That's not on a short final, one five, one five. And there's another three miles. Uh, let's see, OSIC to Wedgie is uh, six miles, and then Wedgie to runway eight okay. is five. Okay. So then I, three on the speed per minute. For the first lake, and then uh, 150 feet per minute. 2,000, and set up on our 45, on our 8, 2, 2, over. Yep. Three, Silver traffic, 2 or 7, trying for base for only 2, 2, Silver. Around for only 2, 2, Silver. 90. Traffic land in lot five, you're doing full stop, Pacheco. Alright, we have uh, 1.1 miles with 2,900. Level off. Number two behind the Super Cub, lighter is taking the pavement. Let me uh, go a little to the left so I can intercept my needle again. Alright, and I'm just going to keep my eye open for gliders. 
Point five miles, and we go down to two thousand. Yep, and left to zero seven. Uh, left to zero seven nine. Right, I'm at uh, right there now. And uh, 2,000 uh, even, you said? So, yeah, 2,900 down to 2,000 at Wedgie. At Wedgie, and it is six miles. So we're going about six, uh, about 300 feet per minute more than that now. Parting the area to the southwest, climbing to about 2,000, Chair Ridge. Big, quick traffic, climbing.